Wizard Foo here. This is another video in the Load Ragger 5 vs. 5 development sequence. Welcome. Let me show you what I've been up to. I've been working on building buildings. This is pretty neat. I got all these different types of buildings here in building.h. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, once again, this is a two-dimensional mock-up gameplay only. Gameplay focus. This will eventually be a 3D voxel-based game, but uh, this 2D gameplay focus is really super liberating. So anyways, I start off as a circle there, and I turn it into the hammer. And with the hammer, you can go and build a building. So I just built a, uh, a hammer, another building where I can buy the hammer, which turns me into a builder. Um, so once this needs to be like, you know, you could, you need to have some options like, um, okay, I want to build a tower or maybe I want to build the knight, uh, layer or the archers den and stuff like that. And all the things enable you to get the in more advanced roles. But anyways, the mechanics are there to be able to buy stuff. And you notice when I, uh, when I build a building, it uses some of my gold and some of my wood. Um, Wood you get from chopping down trees, gold you get from fighting creeps, and uh, enemies on the other team. So, let's look at some of that code. You looked at building.h. Here's where uh, the input system actually uses the hammer, this function here. Um, I've got it set up so it just builds a builder building right now, but we'll need to have, have some kind of... Uh, menu or selection types so you can select which type of building you want to build um, and then it actually builds everything from data so or I mean it constructs the entity from data and uh, once again this building type gold cost and wood cost would all be determined based on the menu of whatever you building you select but all it really does is uh, it decrements the players um, gold and wood and then uh, sets a cooldown so you can't build the buildings too fast. And uh, then builds the building. This also needs to be snapped to a grid. Probably. Yeah, it'll need to be snapped to a grid. And also, it'll need to be checking for other buildings or other entities in the current area. So that it doesn't, you can't build a building, for example, on top of a tree or on top of water or on top of a rock or an enemy something like that but all it does after that after it gets its position and sets its cooldown and does its decrements and stuff like that it constructs the entity so it constructs the building and uh those are here here's one of the boat there's the building lumberjack simple thing it's got a render component here's what sprite it is it's got a position and collision component as well the extra part of the collision component is set to lumberjack and lumberjack means that this is the lumberjack building. And so when um, when the player, for example, touches the lumberjack building and wants to purchase an, uh, the lumberjack um, axe, it knows what type of building that is from that, that extra component. So that's it. That's all I've been working on lately. Um, next, I'm going to be working on the knight roll. So the knight has a sword and fights enemies with melee combat close range and there'll need to be creeps for the knight to fight and um and enemy teammates too as well so um lots of fun things to do i once again uh this is really fun doing these two this two-dimensional gameplay mock-up because it, it just allows razor sharp focus and um gets rid of all the distractions of hey this art should be better because it's so tempting when you are uh, a solo game developer to spend all your time making art or perfecting things too soon. So this is a really great way to not perfect things too soon. I myself am a perfectionist when it comes to uh, my game development world. So what a, what a liberating way to create a game. So I'm excited for the next month, maybe even two months, to be doing this 2D gameplay mock-up um, and then eventually throw on all the rad 3D voxels and do the whole world. And uh, it's going to look, I can't wait for to do that part too, but it's really nice to be in this phase right now. So that's it for this video. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll catch you on the next one.